All right, how's it going? King of the Zeds here. Welcome to my attempt at the 3x3 Glock 9 base challenge. I think it speaks for itself really, but the overview is you've got three squares by three squares to build a horde base that can stand up to a relatively late stage horde. I'm currently at game stage 217. I'm just using a random backup of one of my previous playthroughs on day 70. So if you haven't seen Glock's video yet, then obviously go check that out. I'll leave a link in the description. But here's how my base works. So I've started off just with one central column that I've reinforced with plates on three of the sides and then I've got one ladder going up the middle. Now it looks like from here that the ladder goes all the way to the top, but that's not quite the full story. So the path the zombies are going to be taking is they're going to come up here and then they're going to have to kind of get onto this little bit, path around, and then if you've seen my zigzag base design video, then we're taking advantage of the fact that the zombies stumble whenever they jump over a block. So they're going to jump here and then as they stumble and fall, some of them are going to basically end up going off of the corner there and end up back on the ground and then have to loop around and do it all again. So I've got another one of those here for those lucky ones who made it over. And then when they get this side, there's another ladder to come up. And then they go around this way, they do it all again. So that's the third jump and the fourth jump. And if they eventually make the fourth jump and they make it all the way to this ladder, they're gonna find me raining bullets down on the top of their heads. Now the original design was just this whole thing here was gonna be like enclosed in the cage using the bar blocks, as you can see here. But when I got to the top, I kind of decided to modify it a bit because I realized there's a path all the way down for me to drop molotovs. So I knocked out this block here. I gave it a quick test and without knocking this side block, I, I just couldn't get them down the bloody hole without setting myself on fire. So there's a bit of a death trap up here at the moment, but we're going to have to work with it. So with that, I'll uh, fast forward the time and we can bring on the day 70 horde. So just in my backpack, I actually I've still got the dev hammer. I'll get rid of that. <laughs> I just used that for uh, construction. Uh, yeah, I've got a bunch of water because I know I'm going to set myself on fire. I, I picked up like a hundred molotovs and we've got a bunch of 762 ammo. Let's see what happens. I think I'll start off with the mollies because uh... oh, okay, cop missed. Let's see. I'm hoping. Yeah, there we go. I'm hoping that we can sort of rain down on them. There's a few cops, a uh, few getting up. Not as many as it could be, though. But yeah, we've also got a very good sight line here just to rain bullets straight down. I think this is going to be the way to go. Set them on fire and then shoot them in the head. Do you know what? Maybe a good system. Oh, is that a bloody... Yeah, I think we've got... A... Oh, fuck. I knew it. I... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right, let's get these things down here. Where's that guy gone? Oh, no. Got one party girl nearly made it around. This could be all right. As long as uh, there's not too much bashing on shit down the bottom. I think we'd be... Oh, God. That demolisher could fuck things up for us. Uh, yeah, I think we should be okay. Now, I think that the base is high enough, or that I'm high enough on it, that um, when the zombies fall off, they're not going to randomly go into rage mode, I think, because there's a certain height at which they are supposed not to. Yeah, I, I saw... Cautious Pancake in one of his videos, one of his base videos, um, talk about it, but I can't remember which one it was. I know there is a distance from which, uh, yeah, like I said, zombies won't go into that rage mode and just start bashing on their blocks. Yeah, I just can't remember how far, you know, how many blocks distance that actually is. Considering I can't see what the fuck's going on down there. I, oh god. Oh no. Ooh. That was close. Um, yeah, we're just going to have to kind of hope that they're not doing too much damage down the bottom. I'm not seeing too many zombies up here, so I'm guessing there's a bit of a pile-up. 
I really don't know how close I should be getting to the edge here. I want that one to go over the edge so that it hits the ground. Oh, it's not. I'm missing. Have a look at that. All the zombies on the floor are still getting lit up. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm happy so far. Where are we? We're one hour in. <laughs> oh, we've got our first visitor. Which didn't last long. Fuck off, Coppo. Oh no, where's that? Oh, I didn't even see him. <laughs> that was close. I picked up a bunch of... Uh, where are they? Recogs. And I haven't used them. Like an idiot. I mean, my XP's going up like crazy, so I must be shooting somebody. 57,000. <laughs> oh, let's just keep this, keep this up. Straight down. Oh, God, here we go. Right, we'll repair that. Molotovs. Oh yeah, I think that one hit the ground. That's a good one. That's a good shot. Yeah, I'm loving that. I replaced... I did have a block, a regular block there. I'm loving that I replaced it with the bars just so I can shoot through at the ladder. No, I don't think so, lady. Do, 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 do. Just so I can shoot into the void. Give us some fire. And we're gonna need a drink. Who's what's that? What's that noise? Ah That sounds a lot like a demolisher, but I can't see one. So I hope he's not smashing the shit out of the base. Oh fuck off! Ooh, that was lucky. Just as I was out of ammo on that round, on that magazine. Here we go, we're two hours in. I wish I could see how effective the um, yeah the, the falling off blocks are, because there's not many zombies getting up here. I think I might kind of rerun this afterwards. And... Um, get like some cinematic shots so we can actually see what was happening. Yeah, I'll cut those in after the fact, so yeah, I'll leave those to the end of the vid. Oh shit, I just saw a demolisher, there he is. Oh my god. No! Well, he's made a bloody great hole, but we're still standing. Oh, another one just went off. Oh, there's another one here. Just back off. Okay, I saw the bag. He's dead. Oh, no. Oh. How the hell did I not fall there? Okay, where's that coming from? There's a cop spitting at me from somewhere. Okay, well, the good news is the pathing is still working. There's always the danger that those those demos are going to knock like one of the ladder blocks out that could fuck everything up. Uh, I'm well over halfway through my ammo, which might be a slight problem here. I'm running. A little low on time. I'm getting less and less time to fuck around with these uh, Molotovs here. Oh shit. Oh no. The gun's fucked. Repair. Right, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why they're actually getting up here now. Oh no. Fucking die. <laughs> You're not supposed to be up here. Get away. Okay, it looks like they've destroyed some of the jumping blocks because they're getting up here a little bit too easily now. Heal. Oh my god. Deep laceration now. Getting a little bit fucked over here. 
Uh, this is <laughs> this is not good. You're not supposed to be here. Oh, Jesus Christ, there's absolutely nowhere to go. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Well, I guess I guess we're fighting at this point now. 600 bullets left, and we're at 1.30 a.m. I can't see a fucking thing. Alright, well, I think we're at the point where we just have to hope that the base stands up. And now we're basically just fighting from this position here. I don't know if I've got time to throw any Molotovs. Because those jumping obstacles are... Definitely fuck me. Oh my god. I seem to be fielding those uh, cop spit attacks fairly well. Oh god, come on. If I can just get those to die there. Oh man. 300 bullets that is not going to take us till 4am. Pretty fucking sure about that. Short control bursts. Oh, hang on. It might help if I have another recog. Ah, where are they? Um. Okay, we have no zombies now. I have a feeling the ladder is fucked. Down the bottom. We could be in trouble here. They're going to bring the base down if I... <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's just not going to... Oh, shit. It's not doing us any favours that the uh, cops are exploding down there. Just fucking shooting into the void. Oh, shit. Okay, we're still alive. Fucking hell. Oh, my God. I don't know what happened, I don't know what we're standing on, I don't know how the base is not completely trousered. Oh, for fuck's sake. I have to repair this. Oh shit, now we get the birds, now my cage is fucked. Can I get an angle down there? Oh, they totally fucking annihilated this thing. Oh, there's the bird. Where is it? I can't see the fucking thing. Shit. <laughs> okay, now we're healing. We're shooting. Oh, I've got no bullets. Yeah, if I'd have left this as a single block up the middle, it would be over by now. I don't know what is keeping us this place standing, but uh, oh shit, that's me out of bullets. Well, this is a ladder fight now. Oh my god! <laughs> this is oh no, here we go. Oh fuck! Challenge failed. Oh, I've got no bullets. I can't do anything. <laughs> I'm outside of the 3x3 grid. My leg's broken. I'm running nowhere. Oh my god, I can't see anything. Oh, whose fucking idiot idea was it to just use this many Molotovs? I can't see shit. Come on, Gunny. Ah, heal. Four hit bar. <laughs> Okay, well, here we are. Turns out we made it to just past 3 a.m. But I've moved the time on now to get rid of all those zombies. I don't want to be trying to assess the situation with the horde still going on. Oh, man. Well, I feel like that was close. I feel like that was very close. I think maybe a couple of demos went off that if they hadn't have done, and maybe a cop or two that exploded, if they'd have not exploded, maybe. Just maybe. <laughs> but what an aftermath. Yeah, I think... I think it was game over as soon as whatever block 
got destroyed that meant that they couldn't make it up the ladder that first bit of the ladder that was the beginning of the end wasn't it really but anyway that was heaps of fun so thanks Glock for setting this challenge if you're ever watching this uh, yeah I appreciate all the content you put out over the years you're one of the biggest inspirations for my own channel so thank you to everyone watching thanks heaps for being here as well I really appreciate all the views and everything that you guys have been giving me over the last uh, few months but on that note we'll leave it there and you can go off and watch everybody else's 3x3 challenge videos and I'll see you all in the comments <laughs>